Hi, I'm Tim Tyler and this video is a brief one which debunks one of the obituaries of memetics published in the final issue of the Journal of Memetics. Richard Dawkins proposed tracking the health of memetics by counting citations of the idea in learned journals in the selfish gene. At least one author took this idea seriously. Bruce Edmonds produced some research along these lines in a paper entitled The Revealed Poverty of the Gene Meme Analogy – Why Memetics Per Se Has Failed to Produce Any Substantive Results. The paper's sole piece of empirical evidence was represented by a plot which purported to show that the memetics bandwagon may have peaked, and that memetics has been a short-lived fad whose effect has been to obscure more than it has been to enlighten. The plot drew on data from Google Scholar, and appeared to show that mentions of the term memetics had peaked in 2001 and then had gone into precipitous decline. After noting that the purported decline was heavily influenced by a single data point, I attempted to reproduce this result in November 2008 using precisely the same methodology. My results failed to find any such effect. Rather, papers mentioning memetics by name have increased in volume monotonically year after year between 1990 and 2006. Comparing our results gave a clue about what went wrong. The author obviously failed to correct for the paucity of recently published papers that are indexed in Google Scholar. If you search the Google Scholar database on almost any subject, the data for the current year and the last one has not all been indexed yet. Oops. Ironically, the author of the paper entitled Why Memetics Per Se Has Failed to Produce Any Substantive Results himself failed to produce any substantive results. Anyway, I'm happy to say that the death of memetics appears to have been greatly exaggerated. Enjoy!